doing up the dishes, getting ready for a big meal prep so I can start with a clean kitchen. Time for my close up. for us for the entire week. I'm also doing a pantry challenge, so I'm going to get started with some beef stroganoff. I'm going to show you my list. This is my list. I don't think I'm going to get everything done today, but I'm going to try to make a good dent in it. I'm getting started a little late. It's after 2.30 in the afternoon. I don't know if that last clip kind of cut off there, but the first one I'm going to do is beef stroganoff and I'm going to do it in the crock pot. I mean it's a simple recipe to begin with but I kind of just want to have it in the background taking up space and not really in the way. So I have this stew meat and I'm going to put that in there. I can do this one handed. I should probably go get my tripod, but I wanted to try this like this so I could get a better angle, I guess. Now this is a little bit frozen, but it's going to be okay in the crock pot. I'm going to try to break it up a little bit. Yeah, I need my tripod. Maybe it's a lot frozen. Okay, I'll be right back with my tripod. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a bag of egg noodles. And yes, you can cook noodles in the crock pot. So I'm gonna just dump that whole bag in there. And I'm gonna put in three cream of mushroom soups. I got these at Walmart. They were like 50 cents a can. Salad. Let me fill up the pot. 
be my trick. Okay, got the water on to boil. Sierra's being really camera shy, but she's working over here on toasting these English muffins. Let's see, let's turn this on. High on front, cool. So, my pasta water is boiling, so I'm going to add a box of rotini, and this is for the pasta salad. I don't have many ingredients to go in this pasta salad, so it's going to be kind of plain, but I don't want to go to the store. I'm going to be adding these tomatoes to it, and I think some cheese and Italian dressing. I would like to add olives, but my daughter doesn't think we have any. So yeah, I'm going to let this boil, and I'm going to get my chicken breast in the oven, but I gotta preheat it first, so let's put this on, I guess 400, and I'm gonna bake four chicken breasts and use that for chicken salad. Okay, so the pasta is done. It is rinsed and cooling, and now I have you can see that too well, but I have eggs on the boil, and these are going to be for the potato salad and chicken salad. So I got a timer on that. Fun fact, my frying pan, it needs a pepper to hold up the handle because it's bent. So yeah, we improvise around here. So I have my eggs for the egg McMuffins. Well, they're not really McMuffins because they're not from McDonald's, but we're going to make them meatless. Oh, let me grab some butter. I certainly hope that didn't take too long. So I'm going to get a butter knife and get some butter into this pan. Get it melted. And we're going to fry up some eggs. So these are going to be egg and cheese muffins. Here's the, these are from Aldi. They're the Love and Fresh brand. And also I decided for my chicken fried rice that I am going to cheat and use rice aroni because it's already seasoned. And they're still quite frugal because they're only a dollar a box. I just checked on the stroganoff and it's done. Turned out pretty nice looking here. I'm going to add some sour cream to it that I haven't gotten out of the refrigerator yet. 
and probably some salt and pepper and then this is what we'll be having for dinner either that or the chicken fried rice so I thought I had enough let's see chicken legs to make the chicken fried rice with but I only have two so there's gonna be a change of plans I cut up chicken breast that was supposed to be for the chicken salad and it's now going to go in the chicken fried rice. I'm just going to go ahead and use the same pan I used for the eggs because the chicken fried rice is going to have eggs in it anyway. I'm going to follow the package instructions on this rice roni. It calls for some butter to saute the rice in. I'm going to saute the chicken and rice at the same time in the butter. And I found that this is helpful and it works out. So you use butter and two cups of water for this. And it has a seasoning packet inside. I might want a little bit more butter because that's a lot of chicken. Don't want it to all absorb into the chicken. Now the recipe on the box does not call for egg, but I'm going to fry up some egg in it when it's done. water measured out right here. So you're just going to brown the rice. I should have seen if this calls for a lid. Yes it does and I don't have a lid for this pan so I think I'm going to transfer into Okay, we're going to bring that to a boil and let it simmer for 15 to 20 minutes. Well, I am about to let me get this out of the way. I am about to call it a night in a few minutes here. But I wanted to finish up the chicken fried rice. Right in that well. I don't know if you can see that too well. But it's 
scrambling up nice. Probably take a little bit longer, you know, a little bit thicker than if you were to scramble eggs on the flat surface. going to go ahead and mix this fruit out. It's amazing what you can do with a little box of rice aroni. And then I'm going to add some soy sauce. Just going to sprinkle it over the top. There we have chicken fried rice. I'm gonna let this cool off and I'm gonna get it in the fridge and I'll see you guys tomorrow.